Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is your plus size fashionista. Um, this is Sandra. Hey y'all. Uh, I'm just so outraged and I am going to do another Real Talk Diva Talk. And I welcome everybody's opinions and um, video responses below this vid if you guys want to. Um, I am very outraged because the election as all of you guys know the election um was tuesday and the democrat i mean the uh, republicans won i'm not being a hater congrats on that but i feel like i'm a democrat and i'm for you know the low income families you know welfare you know um medicaid medicare you know senior citizens um disability all that and I feel like you know Obama's trying to change and I feel like um President Bush I'm busy right now hold on President Bush made eight years of ruckus and he's trying to slowly clear that up after two years in office two two years in office he's trying to slowly do things President Obama but I feel like this is crazy. Democrats would have won. And I feel like people are jumping ship as well. Because I feel like Obama hasn't made a steadily pace of a change. But like I said again, you can't change eight years of damage overnight. It takes baby steps. Obama is clearly trying to make change. But now the man can't because the Republicans won the House. Meaning... You need the House and the Senate, you know, the President need the House and the Senate to make bills or whatever, and it needs to go through so they can become bills or whatever. They can't now because everything that Obama's trying to do, they're going to deny it. They're going to deny, deny, deny. Eh, they're going to be like, eh, you're wrong. I don't know if I'm going to call this a rant or whatever, but it is real talk. Deep talk too, so whatever. But I feel like this. Only 3% of minorities voted. That is outrageous. I'm like very upset. And those are friends on my Facebook. You probably would have seen my status. I was outraged because I feel like this. Okay. Me and my mom went voting together. It took me and my mom a minute. Do you hear me? A minute. So you're telling me you cannot take a minute out of your day to go vote, to change the world, to put President Obama's plans into action. You can't do that. You can't take one minute out of there, your day. So what you're doing so important. <laughs> you can uh, try to holler at girls on Facebook. Um, you could try to uh, be a Debo or a fake ass internet gangster or a gangster on the street or um, trying to get some ass or... What else I could think? You could be uh, lazy, sleeping, or the f famous phrase, oh, my vote don't count. Your vote do count. If all of us come together and vote, it would have count. But now, as me being a voter, I feel like it did not count because all the other selfish ass people in America didn't want to take a minute out of their time to vote. Hell, everybody else did take a minute out of their time. Everybody else wasn't that busy to not vote. Are you kidding me? Come with something better. Come with something better than that to me. That is a, one of the lame ass excuses I ever heard in my life. And I've been on this world almost 23 years. That just outrages me, you guys. I mean, everybody's going to agree to disagree. I know that. I know that. But I'm just saying, this outrages me because you can't take a minute out of your time to go out and vote. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you can't go out and vote? Like, come on. My first time voting was last year. Last year when President Obama voted, I felt so happy, y'all. I cried. I felt so happy because I felt like I'm of age and I feel like, you know, my opinion and everything I have something to say counts. I just felt so happy. Not because he won, too, but I was happy about that. But it just was a joyous feeling 
and I feel like yesterday I felt disappointed. Yes, I was upset. Yes, I cried. I felt like all President Obama's hard work, all of our hard work as Americans that did take out the time and vote, it was all in vain. I felt it did not matter. I felt it did not count. It's like, come on. And then, but I bet if Gucci Man or you know Ti or Bow Wow or they was on One Hundred Six Park, you you would stay home and watch that, or you go to a concert and pay for them, pay to see them. But you can't take a minute out of your time to go vote. Like, are you serious? Where they do that at? Like, <laughs> boing, like a big old question mark. Like, really? Is on top of my head. Like, really? Me and my best friends and my fiance and my parents. We just talk about it's like it's crazy and everybody think like shit is down the drain now. Oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. <laughs> Trust and believe y'all think stuff is messed up now. Wait. Just wait and see. And then I'm not gonna put nobody names out there, but somebody, one of my friends on Facebook, said, you know what I'm saying? Um I'm not gonna vote until they raise the gas, till they lower the gas prices. Are you stupid as hell? You dumbass, dumb dumb, like, oh my God. I was like so bad. I had to take a minute cause that's just bringing back me being a little upset. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, seriously. Like, like I said people, change ain't gonna happen overnight. That's with anything. They think with the Snap of your fingers, stuff gonna be back to how it was before Bush got in office. No. Bush messed up a lot of things, like helping those poor people in Hurricane Katrina and getting us trillion dollars in deficit and all that. That, oh God. I guess this will be a controversial topic. I don't know, but please do not be writing no stupid, hateful stuff because you will get blocked. I'm too grown, like I said in my past videos, I'm a grown adult, I'm a grown woman. We are in America. I have freedom of speech and I can say the hell I want to because guess what? This is my channel. So if you don't like it, don't add, don't subscribe to me, don't watch none of my videos. Because personally, I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'm still going to go to sleep at night and I'm still going to wake up and I'm still going to be breathing. So... You're not going to stop me. <laughs> well, what I have to say, what I have to do, because I'm still going to be Sandra at the end of the day. So, with that being said, I welcome everybody's opinions. You can do video responses. You can comment below. You know, I would rather prefer you guys do video responses. I want to see what everybody feels about this. I really do. This is just crazy to me. This is but noodles. But anyway. <sighs> Your plus size fashion needs to sign it off, y'all. I love y'all. Rate, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, y'all know what to do. Press play. Peace.